The mantra light can control 24 fixtures, one per yellow fader. It also has 10 red playback faders, allowing you to play 10 simultaneous cue lists. If your needs outgrow that, you can simply connect a mantra light wing via the supplied USB cable. When you plug in the wing, an additional 12 fixtures, 25 through 36, appear in your rig view display, as well as an additional page information. The first wing connected will come up as green and the matching green page display there. The 12 yellow fixtures faders now do 25 through 36 fixture count and you have 11 through 20 for your playbacks. If your needs continue to grow, you can apply a maximum of two wings to the console. To give you a total of 48 fixtures and now 30 playback faders for playback of 30 cues simultaneously. The first wing appears as a green, the second wing appears as blue. If when you first connect the wings in, you connect them in the wrong order, so you get green and blue, it's just a simple matter of unplugging the wings and make sure you plug the first wing in first and the second wing in second. That way you have green followed by blue. If you forget that order, it's the order the page numbers appear here. When you turn off the console, the order of connection of the wings is remembered so that when you power it up again, they'll come back in the same positions. It all happens automatically and simply. That's the joy of using a mantra. Each wing has 10 playbacks with its own page button, the information of which is displayed on the main display. And to record a cue there, simply bring up some fixtures anywhere on the console, press the record button, and you'll notice now that all the buttons are flashing to select where you wish to record the cue to. If you wish to view the playbacks on each wing, press the I button to see the playback information appear in the main display. You can then double click the button to lock that information on and then you have direct access to the cue edit windows just as if you're working on the main playbacks on the main console. You also have page buttons for each wing for its playbacks, which have the same shortcut that you have on a normal wing to instantly change pages. If you disconnect a wing, after five seconds, the fixtures will disappear from the rig view and will fade to black on your lighting show. So you must have the wings connected at all times to be able to use the fixtures in your show.